everyone. I just want to touch bases on some messages um, with the energy cards I just laid for September 19th through October 2nd. And then from there, we'll just move right into your zodiac reading for um, these dates. First of all, I'm feeling like some of you throughout September, and it, it's going to appear uh, these two weeks, is, there's been a lot of work on emotional issues I feel from childhood uh, and your adolescent years. Uh, also, too, things that you have felt abandoned by or heartbroken. I feel a lot of that energy coming up these last two weeks before Mercury goes direct and uh, we're still under the influence of that lunar eclipse uh, the 15th, 16th, and 17th. The lunar eclipses have energies that can fire off three months prior and three months after and there were some cross point aspects to this lunar uh, eclipse that could have actually brought back energy you know, from April of 2015. What I'm feeling here is, I feel for some of you, it's these two weeks are about what has, you know, broken your heart. Where do you feel abandoned? Where do you feel neglected and ignored? I feel like that there's a lot of healing to happen with this. And, uh, spirit is, is really there with you your spirit guides are there with you trying to help you see that there are other avenues there are other doors that are open you just have to walk through them now for some of you it may have this these two weeks may be extremely productive or you were very busy the first part of September and now now it's time to wrap it all up and take a vacation or you know just relax some of you throughout the world have been through some very turbulent weather and I feel like there is still turbulent weather going on through the end of September. Uh, besides turbulent weather, there have been some earthquakes. I feel like there may be another one on its way. And I do feel that there are some <clears throat> significant energy changes. Uh, you know, they're good. They're good. These energy shifts are meant to be because they're, the universe is trying to open up gateways for you to move through, to uh, seek the happiness within, and to rid yourself of toxic energy, uh, toxic, toxic people, toxic environment around you. Okay? This broken heart doesn't necessarily mean he, le he or she left you. Although I do feel that there have been some relationships that have, are coming to an end or have ended and the healing process is on these next two weeks. But what I also am getting is this is an opportunity to, to look into eating habits, if you're eating healthy, to change those habits, quit smoking. Uh, if you're drinking a lot, slow down or quit. Um, you know, if you're having addictive issues, this is the time to check in, to rehab, or see a therapist. This this shift between the 19th and October 2nd is important. It's important to shift within you regarding, you know, healthy ways, healthy habits. Um, we can be habitual people, so we would love to have no habits. <laughs> but unfortunately, we are going to uh, tend to obsess over something, okay? Uh, until we get to that point where we've shift shifted and, and our ego is unimportant anymore and we've, we've reached the plateau of being the observer, being our spirit. But in the meantime, the journey continues, as I said, and I feel people... I feel that there are doors that are there for you to walk through uh, to peace, to rejuvenation, to renewal, to rebirth. You know, um, for some of you, it's rest. So I'm feeling, you know, that if you give the universe an opportunity, they're there for you. You know, your guides are there for you. Just trying to move you on pass these doors into something much more blissful. Um, 
I know that we are in the time of shifts, we're in the time of changes, and you hear me speaking a lot, and they're not close to ending. But there isn't any reason you can't enjoy this initiation. You can't enjoy this shift. You know, this is the time to discover you, your sole purpose on this planet, and to co-create love, light, and peace. Much love and blessings, friends. Let's move on to your reading. How's it going, Aquarius? This is your mini general and love tarot card reading for September 19th through October 2nd, 2016. Woo, you got some good things happening here. Yay. Enlightenment, liberation. Finally, you feel free, like the burden's just been lifted off your shoulder. I feel like there's new beginnings for you, and I feel magical energy and what that basically means is like to me a lot of your prayers or requests of the universe are going to be answered um i feel like you've got help from family finally uh you there was an issue going on and you you needed help from family and i think this has been an ongoing uh issue for quite some time and i feel like families finally come through to help on some situations now what i'm also getting to is there is some uh, this could have been something uh, you were addicted to or somebody you knew in the family that had an addiction problem and I feel like they're finally uh, stepping up to the plate and actually doing something about healing themselves okay whether it be rehab therapy however they're going to do it but uh, I feel like it will push through I feel like perhaps they may have had enough wake-up calls or like I said this could be about you I'm also feeling like there is a proposition I'm getting. I feel like it's, um, well, there's two things here. Let me go through one first. One, I'm feeling there is a proposition that be, will be made to you. Now, whether this is from a lover or a job that you've been seeking, I don't feel like it's close by, but I do feel like it's not clearly across the world. Okay, um, I feel like it's more, you know, a next state over or another town, neighborhood, whatever it is over. Uh, I don't feel it's far, but I don't feel it's close. I feel like you will take the job. Um, I feel that there are a lot of opportunities for you if you do take this job, a lot of advancement. I also feel like there's traveling involved. And if there isn't now, there will be. I just feel a lot of new beginnings. Um, a lot of closure within you and a lot of new doors opening and you're feeling it within and you're moving forward on this. I also feel like there's a, a trip that some of you may be taking and I feel like you're taking it with someone that you've known for quite some time. And if it hasn't been someone you've known for quite some time, you had a past life relationship with them. Because I've got the cards for that and I can feel the energy in regards to that and I really feel that it's also time for some of you Aquarius to just kind of sit back a little bit, disconnect from the world and, and, and continue to feel your own vibes, uh, where you wanna be, where you wanna go, write it out, journal it out, manifest it, okay? Um, because it's right there at your fingertips. And I really love this card, Enlightenment, Liberation. I, it just, I get this like, I am free or whew, the burden is off my shoulders. I don't feel weighed down anymore. I feel like I can just get on this uh, airplane and fly, you know, just fly wherever I want to go. Now, that might be a little bit unrealistic. You might not be able to fly wherever you go, but you can spiritually. And I really feel like that maybe you've taken a step also forward on your spiritual journey. Maybe you've taken a class or going to take a class. It's going to help liberate you even more so. But this is an excellent reading. Now, what other messages can I give Aquarius for these two weeks spirit? I feel like you're going to stand in your power about something. You're negotiating, you're negotiating with someone here. And they, they, you know, I'm getting this kind of feeling like, hey, I'm not really honest. But yet, you know this, your intuition is kicked in about this person and and I, I think that they're trying to plead with you 
in regards to listening to them. Uh, I really feel like you've been in a struggle, uh, perhaps in a challenged position with them. And now you're like, well, ha ha ha, you know, I, I'm listening to you, but I know that you're not telling me the truth about some things. Uh, maybe this is you too asking for a separation because you found someone else or you just want to be free, liberated from this person. But that's what I'm also getting here. All right. We know these are many readings. Much love and blessings.